Today, I am sitting in my car at Surfside Park. I am on the beach, practically, and the winds are howling. Just batting down the hatches. There's not gonna be much audio in this video whatsoever. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna say everything I gotta say right now. I'm using clam-scented fish bites, sand flea-scented fish bites, double drop rigs, size two, circle hooks. I've got chartreuse floats and orange floats and white floats. I'm mixing it all up. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm like hiding behind my car right now just so I can get any audio whatsoever. But I'm setting it up. Uh, I got five and four and three, but I think I'm going just five ounce butt next. We've got 16 mile per hour winds blowing in my face. Here we go, here we go, fish on. What else do we got? <laughs> Guys, it feels like another whiting, but it is a flounder. Wow, I haven't caught a flounder from the beach in a long, long, long time. This is a wee little baby. Wow. I haven't caught a flounder in so long from the beach. Nice little white back. That's really cool. Uh, we'll get this guy back. Go ahead, baby. Hey, it swam up for that bait. That was cool. That was really cool. I haven't caught a flounder uh, from Volano Beach since, God, since I can remember. I, I can't even remember when it was. That's, uh, that's really cool to see. I catch them all the time in Matanzas area, but Volano Beach, wow. It's been a long time. I've seen it done, I just haven't done it. Well, I had, I had rods closer to you as yeah. you noticed, yeah, yeah. but I noticed that it looked a little deeper yeah. up close. Yeah. F further down the beach, yeah, so yeah, I, sure. I moved down and uh, okay. I tossed well, the, into the, it. The waves were breaking further out and not so close up here, meaning so, the water was deeper, it, carried, it was able to carry the wave. Well, what I noticed was the white caps yeah. were forming a lot right here. Yeah. And then they weren't forming so yeah, much right, here. Because it was deep enough to, to carry yeah. the weight of the weight, uh, to carry the weight of the water. Yeah. Oh. If you see waves. Yeah, this. Without white caps, it's deeper. Yeah. Yeah, we got, I think we got a fish on. I think there's a fish. I'm running. So the bite has just turned on. This is the second one. I just put this bait out. Not even 20 seconds ago. I cast it in really close, maybe 30 yards off the beach. It doesn't feel like anything's on, but it was, took a big hit. Oh, now it feels like something's on. Here we go. Oh man, we're getting decent sized whiting today. Number three, we're getting some decent sized whiting out there. Fish bites gets all slimy, it's hard to do it. Yeah. If I was keeping fish, these are good size keeper fish. It's a good one. I just can't hold on to it, too slimy. It's a pretty good size. Wind. So the winds are blowing in my face, so 
It's blowing the floats, the bait, the weight, the line. I'm using braid, so it is cutting through the wind quite a bit. I got 30 pound braid on. Uh, but they're biting in close today. We are on a low tide. Low tide's at 7. 7.15 a.m. I'm not sure what it is right now, but it's like six something. When you're trying to go fishing and you only have an hour to do it. Oh, come on. And now there's traffic. We're gonna miss the bite. Go, 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 go. We're going, we're going. We're going to the beach. Daddy, really? Yeah. Wow. What is that? That's a whiting. Oh, okay. Yeah. It felt like a much bigger fish because the waves were pulling it so hard. Yeah. So. Well, we got some bait, man. Yeah, we caught a whiting, Dean. So what do you use? That's like a spot. What is that? That uh, oh, that's that's a. It's called fish bites. It's this yeah. product I'm using. Oh okay. Yeah, it's it smells like clam. It's clam scented. Oh okay. So it's a congealed. It yeah, it's uh, a it's like a. There's a cheesecloth in the middle of it, so you can yeah, hook kinda hook through. It yeah. Cool. So uh, yeah, you don't have to use any bait other than this. Oh, you got a nice rig. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this is just. It's just some of it. Yeah. Some of it. Yeah. All right. Bye bye. All right. Let's see if I can catch back up to this fish. Yeah, he's still on. We got a good size fish on. Decent size. Dean, watch out, fish. He's doing some head shakes. I sure hope it's not a catfish. It is. A monster sailfin. <laughs> yeah. Woo! All right, I'm gonna go with this bright green clam. Got the green chartreuse um, floats, beads, two watt circle hooks, 20 pound test going to a four ounce Sputnik, and I got 30 pound braid. Uh, backed by about 20, uh, 17 pound mono. All right, hopefully no more catfish. Let's get these out. I did catch that catfish within, within minutes of it being in the water, so. This one doesn't feel too heavy. It, oh, oh, there we go. There's some weight to it now. Must have swam with me a little bit. Hey, Dean. 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 They can't hear me. Just want to let them know I got a fish coming in. Got a fish coming in. Watch your feet. Holy cow, what did we catch here? A greenback? No, we didn't. Did we really? Holy cow. We just caught some bait. Look at that thing. How do we... How did we catch this? That's crazy. That's three different species on the green clam since I've had green clam. Just to show you, there are sand fleas here. Well, we hauled some serious butt to get down there, catch one whiting, one catfish. Nobody else caught anything on the beach. The Sputniks, everybody's weights were all just like 
See ya. Goodbye. Don't want to be ya. Anyway, I'm in public naked. And he's naked right now, and you can't even tell. We won't put that on the channel. Okay, thank you. You're taking a shower when you get home, Sandy boy. I know, bro. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next time. Keep it reeling, guys. Sail, sail away. Sail away.